Welcome back. Our time now is 619, and it's time for our weekly series on kids and the coronavirus. Joining us this morning, again, Dr. Namisha Amin, a local pediatrician. Yesterday, the county announced that youth sports can resume, although some certain high-contact sports, such as football, rugby, and water polo, will need to test weekly. But we're talking about sports because I know this is an, uh, a topic that's so important to so many parents. Dr. Amin, I've had so many parents messaging me about this um, over the past few months, just saying we have to get our kids back out there. It's so important for these parents and families um, who have been messaging me. Why is that? Uh, you know, what are the benefits to sports and what was your reaction to hearing, uh, you know, this allowance that they can, you know, start to resume and get back on the field? I was ecstatic that youth sports could resume here in Kern County. I absolutely think that our children deserve it and they need it. Um, the benefits of youth sports are plenty. Um, obviously, from a physical aspect, it gets them up and away from their screens. Um, it gets them moving. It gets their heart rate going. And it can help to combat some of the weight gain that we have seen in our children throughout the pandemic. It's also good for their emotional and their mental health, not only to use their bodies, but to show themselves what they can accomplish, mm -hmm. to challenge themselves, to teach themselves new um, techniques. And of course, from a socialization standpoint, those children who have not yet had the opportunity to get back into their classroom can now spend some time with their friends who are their age doing something fun. And so I, like I said, could not be more happy about the news that was presented to us yesterday. So what do you think about the safety going forward of getting kids back on teams? You know, there are families out there who may want this to happen, but they're still kind of hesitant. Absolutely. And I think it's a matter of understanding the data and then weighing out the risks versus the benefits. We know that children, particularly those under the age of 12, are not very good at transmitting this virus. And we know that viral transmission is dramatically decreased when you are outdoors. And so when you put those two factors together, the likelihood of one child transmitting the virus to another child through outdoor youth sports is incredibly low. We also know that our children are not nearly impacted to the degree that adults are when infected with COVID. And so when we look at those small risks and we weigh it out against the very large benefits that are physical, emotional, and social, and so important to our kids, I really do think it's worthwhile to put the kids back and let them enjoy themselves in their sports. Now we've heard the requirement that high contact sports um, do weekly testing. Do you have any other recommendations for you know, um, you know, families who, who are still a little nervous but recognize the benefit and want this to, um, want, want their kids to benefit from this. Are there some precautions and steps that they can take? Mm -hmm, absolutely. I do think that weekly testing just for now is a good precaution because what we don't want is to open up youth sports and then have it shut back down again because a case or two arose from it. And for parents who are wondering how to keep things safe, I do think it's important that the spectators of the sports and the coaches of the sports also respect the rules and continue to mask when coaching and watching if possible, continue to social distance and to encourage their kids to also have a heightened sense of responsibility when it comes to masking and social distancing when they are off of the field or off of the court or out of the pool so as to keep the numbers low and to allow these sports to proceed. All right, so excited for our kids to have this opportunity once again. Dr. Amin, thanks for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Of course.